Aloha, my ohana. Today, I want to share some things that have been on my mind and in my heart for a while. If you've seen my past videos about Tom, my late husband who went through hospice and passed away last year, I've been meaning to share with you why I chose to go through so many ups and downs with him, and especially the really painful process of him undergoing lots of different treatments during his last year of life. There were a few times where I really just wanted to run away. I know a lot of people have praised me and made nice comments saying that, you know, it's great that I stuck with my husband through all that because some people might not have. It did get quite ugly and I, you know, we did share some of that in our videos and a lot we didn't share. I want to re reflect on the good times and realize that, but what I did have for so many years and the good memories that I have and to not be sad that I can no longer make new memories with Tom, but just to realize that God did bless me with the time I had with him and it shaped me. It made me the person that I am today. And there was a reason for it all. So I want to share with you our love story, if you want to call it that. Tom and I first started out as just being friends. So this story is going to be longer than 10 minutes. So I plan on breaking it up into parts. And that way you can watch a little bit at a time. And because this is on video, you do have the choice to pause it and stop it and come back to it later at another time. And that's my timer, which I set my for myself to help me kind of stay on track and not uh, get <laughs> sidetracked. I'm talking on all the different things because there are so many different things going through my head. But I just want to, I guess, touch on the highlights and what I think you may be interested in. And if you know, questions or comments pop in your mind that you would like to share with me, please feel free to do that. And I'm sure that questions that you have, uh, another person may have as well. So don't hold back on asking that question. Some of you knew Tom way back when, and some of you only know of him because of our YouTube channel. And so I'm going to share my screen. So this is a picture of me and Tom back in high school. Tom's a sophomore and I'm a freshman. Tom and I met on the beach actually in Southern California, total strangers. I'm there with my girlfriends and he's there with his guy friends. And I'm in the water just trying to body surf. Uh, I'm just having fun with my friends and um, some of my friends went back up to the beach blankets to suntan or whatever. And a few of us are in the water and I'm just like kind of hanging out. And I get kind of separated from my friends. And um, yeah, there's uh, some guys swimming nearby and one of the guys kind of gets closer to me and um, I notice him out of the corner of my eye, but I'm like ignoring him because I, back then I didn't like to talk to strangers because my mom told me not to talk to strangers. And, um, and I didn't really like know how to make friends. I waited for other people to make friends with me to say hi and strike up a conversation. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, uh, I hope this guy doesn't like bother me. The guy says something like, oh, you don't want to take this wave that's coming. It's not good. You want to take the next one. The next one's big and it'll, you can really body surf really good. I'm looking around. I'm like, I guess he's talking to me. Um, I don't even know him. And he's talking like he knows me. And <laughs> um, So I guess I just like looked at him and, and then he just walked away. And I thought well, that was weird. I thought that he 
was going to like try to ask me for my phone number or ask me out on a date or something. I don't know. I had only like dated two guys by that time and not really feeling comfortable about the whole situation. <laughs> so anyway, I go back to my girlfriend's um, sitting on the beach blanket and tell him that, you know, some weird guy was talking to me in, in the water. And my one friend's like, oh, who? Um, and I, I point and I'm like, that guy over there. And she looks and she's like, oh, I know him. That's Tom. He's, he's a cool guy. He's like, he's nice. Don't worry about him. I'm like, you know him? She's like, yeah, yeah. He, he goes to uh, our high school. So we were going into high school. Um, and so I had not met Tom yet. And this friend had met him because um, of sports, because um, our middle schools had played each other. And so she had met him that way. From then on, I like continued to kind of meet Tom in circumstances where a bunch of friends that were doing something together, like going to a football game or, or going out to eat at some burger joint, going to the movies. So we became friends. So this picture is from the Sadie Hawkins dance. And you don't know what Sadie Hawkins is. I don't know if they have that anymore. It's, it's the dance where the girls ask the guys to go. Uh, traditionally, the guys would ask the girls to go to the dance. I felt really comfortable talking to Tom. He was not like judgmental like the other people in high school. He was on the football team and on track and so he was considered a, a, a jock, but he didn't just hang out with the jocks. He w was part Asian, but he didn't hang out with just the Asian kids. He didn't really care what you were, as long as you were nice. Yeah. And if you weren't nice, then he put you in your place. I asked Tom to go to the Sadie Hawkins dance with me, and uh, he happened to have a car. <laughs> and so I asked him, like, well, can can my uh, friend and her boyfriend, you know, double date with us and, you know, pitching for gas or whatever. I don't know. So, so we ended up going on this date as friends. Um, and Tom was a total gentleman. He did not try to do anything. Uh, didn't try to make a move on me. Um, we just like went to like some burger joint and went to the dance and, um, yeah, nothing like really special, but it was fun for being 13, 14 years old. And um, so then let me show you the next picture here. Oops, what happened? There we go. So about three years later, well, Tom graduated and the year before I did. And then on my graduation, well, for my prom, I asked Tom to go to my prom. But I have to tell you the backstory on that. So I was supposed to go. I did have a boyfriend. I think, I don't remember exactly the dates, but a few months before prom happened, I got together with a guy who didn't go to my high school. And he actually graduated the year before and he was in boot camp. And I was like, you know, pen paling with him. And um, I asked him, you know, if he could go to prom with me when he gets out of boot camp. But he never like replied to my letter. And I wrote him again and again and again and he didn't reply. So I kind of took that as him breaking up with me. Um, and he was going to go to the uh, prom with me and so I already had bought the dress and made plans with my friends that we were going to rent a limo and um, have a hotel room to party in afterwards and um, so I was determined to go so I'm like I need to ask somebody to go with me but I don't want to just ask any guy because I don't want them to think because most guys think they're going to get lucky on prom night and I don't want to deal with that so i thought hey why don't i ask tom my friend i don't think he would um take advantage of me and he has money so he could probably help to pitch in for the limo as well and uh so 
I asked Tom and told him the deal that, you know, everything I would take care of paying for the pictures and the ticket. And if you could just like pitch in for the limo, then, you know, then you party with us and stuff. And, um, and he's like, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, so just to give you some idea, <laughs> we were involved in underage drinking and partying um, the last two years of my um, high school years, which I do not condone now looking back on it. I realize how stupid that was and how dangerous it was. And, I, you know, thank God um, my guardian angel was taking care of me and Tom because we didn't get into like any major serious um, problems, but, um, but that kind of leads into, um, the rest of the story because, uh, later on I did have, uh, an incident that involved drinking, but anyway, so, so the problem was great, um, for me, except that uh, my best friend that I, shared the limo with her and her boyfriend ended up getting into an argument. And so that kind of ruined the evening. And so me and Tom just spent the rest of the evening watching TV in the hotel room, <laughs> which was fine with me because I'm just kind of like a really simple person. I kind of go with the flow and um, Tom was a perfect gentleman again. So that is the end of episode one, telling the story of how Tom and I became friends. And in the next episode will be how we went from friends to dating. So here's a few pictures to go along with that. And please let me know if you like this video and share it with someone that you care about. And subscribe if you have not already so you'll know when the new video comes out. To see what else I've been up to, go to buymeacoffee.com slash aloha, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.